guys, happy Thursday. I know you're thinking, what the f Okay, so here's the deal. I wasn't gonna start the vlog because my house is in absolute shambles. But I was like, you know, that's the real deal, Holyfield. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna have lipstick on my teeth. It's an exciting day slash weekend. There's a lot for me to catch you up on. I think I can finally show you guys the bathroom. I think I'm I think I'm ready. I think I've healed enough to be able to share it with you. But like I said, shambles, yeah. Everything's in shambles. So it was a morning where everything was perfectly coordinated to go exactly the way it was supposed to. And I decided to sleep in. And not really like sleep in. So usually I get up around six or 6.30 to get the boys ready for school. And I told Parker, he usually gets up around four or five to go to work. I'm like, get me up with you because I need to get ready. I need to get cute. I have a busy morning. I, I, I didn't. My, my defense is he snored and I didn't sleep very well, so I decided to sleep in an extra hour and then everything just trickled and like slammed. Like I had to drive the boys to school in my bathrobe. I don't usually drive them, they walk, but it's raining. One more thing to add to the mix. And uh, Mateo was like, oh mom, <laughs> I know he was kind of like extra clingy yesterday, extra lurky. And, you know, we were having a conversation. I was like, what's up, what's going on, whatever, we talked. But I, I feel like maybe he didn't muster up the courage to ask me until this morning about helping him with the homework assignment. <laughs> so basically everything just snowballed and it was great. It, it wasn't, it wasn't great. So we are going to a fine jewelry store grand opening. I think it's called Tanique. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right because there's a Q in there and I wanna make sure that I do it the right way and they do it the way I'm supposed to. So I will update you guys on that, but that's why I wanted to get the vlog started early because Edema and I are going to go to this ribbon cutting ceremony, grand opening of this jewelry store. So anyway, I'm running a little bit behind. We have to be there at 11.45. I told Edema I would pick her up around 11.15, which it is 11.15, but I wanted to show you guys two things. The first one is this amazing, incredible Amazon find, and I'll show you guys with more detail later, but phone case. So that's my phone. This is the case. It has a little wallet attached, but if you guys have that magnet or you're used to the magnet either for your car or for charging or for whatever, so it has a little magnet. It works as a magnet to hold the wallet, but it also has it there. And then it has a wristlet attachment and a crossbody attachment. So tomorrow we're going to a Selena tribute band, like concert, uh, Irma and her friends and I are gonna go. So I'm very excited about that. That's another thing I wanted to include in the vlog. And so we're gonna take this little guy, but with the crossbody strap. Today I get to bring a purse. So I'm gonna put the little strap on it and throw it in my bag. That way if there's any footage that I can show you guys, I don't have to bring this camera. I think they're gonna have a fashion show and like a little tour and stuff. So I wanna share that with you guys. Hopefully I can. Anyway, I just got my hair done with Katie and I was a little worried of how I would like it because I haven't been blow drying my hair at all like it hasn't been straight or I haven't taken a wand to it it's just been air dried and the feedback that I have gotten from you guys alone has filled my love tank for like 10 years also publicly like I was at Target the other day and there was this woman we had just left mass and the homily was about, if you do good things, if you do well, if you do random acts of kindness, if you are a good person, you're doing them to him. Like you're doing them to, to, to God. Anytime you do something good, you're doing it directly to him as if you had done something good for him. Every time you do something that's questionable or maybe unkind, you're doing it to him directly. And so, it was very profound and I was like, okay, cool. This is awesome. It just, it just shows that any little thing that you do really does make a difference. So we're out and about grocery shopping after mass and this old woman stops me and says, I love your hair. It is so fun to be young again. You look great. I was on cloud nine for the rest of the day. It's so weird how those things happen throughout the day to kind of reemphasize. Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but that's the kind of stuff that really makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So that was the first thing I was gonna show you is that wristlet, and then the other thing were these. I'm sure you've seen them all over like Instagram and stuff, but these earrings, they come in several different sizes. This is like the in-between size. I think I wanna get the big ones too. The big ones are about this big, 
for like, you know, really fun night out. Anyway, two Amazon favorites that I'm going to talk about in my Amazon favorites video that's coming up, but I wanted to share it with you guys because you know, just hanging out. So grand opening, we're going to the ribbon cutting. Then tomorrow is ladies night, Selena cover band, busy weekend. And I just kind of want to hang out with you guys. So that's, that's it for now. I'm running late as usual. Well, I always say a certain time to give myself grace so that I'm on time, you know? So I'm like, it's at this time, but it's really not. It's actually later than that, but that way I'm on time. I hope my curls hold up though, because with this weather, they might not be this voluminous for a long time. And if we're doing a ribbon cutting in the rain, anyway, I'm gonna stay positive because I'll feel cute. I'll show you guys the fit. It's a repeat offender. This is a dress. Our pool cleaner's here and Mern's like, murder! So this is a repeat offender. It comes out every fall and winter. It's just a really thick sweater leopard dress from Zara. Obviously no longer available, but I really like it because the fabric is so thin. It's like wearing a sweatshirt. And then really thick tights from Walmart. And then just my brown riding boots that I was telling Parker the other day. These boots are circa, I still lived in San Diego and was a teacher. So they are old, but I don't know. They're just, they're my go-to when it's cold. It's a way to look cute without having to put on pants, you know? Anyway, I'm running late. I love you, bye. Happy Friday, it's about five o'clock. It's a miracle I'm alive right now because I'm being dramatic as usual. So yesterday we went to that grand opening of Tanishk, is how you pronounce it. And it was so lovely, it was such a great experience. I invited Idma to go with me and I was telling her, I'm like, you know, I don't know if it's something that would interest us, us but it might be a really fun experience. And it really was, and the jewelry is just, absolutely stunning super amazing after the event i think it was like 1 or 1 30 we were across the street from an in and out so we went to eat there before we had to go pick up the kids from school and last night i got revoltingly sick i mean like the kind of sick you don't want to get so i woke up today and i was like i am barely alive luckily i haven't gotten sick again today i just feel like super weak but I gotta go see Selena, you know what I'm saying? Anything for Selena's. So at six o'clock, Parker is going to take the three ladies that are going and myself to the event where the cover band is gonna play. It's at Legacy Hall. And uh, I think we're gonna eat there. And then I think the show starts at eight, something like that. I do not appreciate the lighting. 
in here. Maybe it's because I'm so far away. My hair is getting flat too. Anyway, it's a miracle I was able to get ready. It's a miracle I showered today. It's a miracle anything has happened today. But what is also a miracle is the fact that I haven't taken this down. How pretty is that? This is a backdrop that I bought for our friend's bachelorette party. And I'm sort of airing it out, letting the wrinkles get out of it. And it is stunning. Oh, you know what we should do? Oh my gosh, this is what we should do. We should... We should, there we go, this is good. Okay, better, woo! So on our way home yesterday, after all the shenanigans we got into, I stopped at my PO box and I have three packages from you guys. So I thought we should open them together. I also got the holiday candle collection from Martucci's. My friend Martha at The Good Candle sent me her holiday candles, they arrived today. So before we head out the door, I have to feed my dogs and I want to open those packages with you guys. So I'm thinking, where can I prop you guys up? I want to have that cute little background, you know? That backdrop, I'm very proud of myself for finding it. It is stunning. And if I tell you guys how much I paid for it, you won't believe me. Especially because it's like real canvas. It's not plastic. It's not disposable. It's amazing. It may turn into my new background. Just saying. It's very... Very Mexican. <laughs> All right, let me get you guys. All right, you guys, it's official. This is my new background. This is it. How pretty is that? I wish I had worn a different color shirt because then it's making me look a little shadowy. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just tan. Can I help you? What do you want? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to your friends? Yeah, you want to tell him you feel pretty crummy? Yeah? You say you feel so bad? You don't feel so good? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna lay right here. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I love you. All right, so we have some packages here. We're gonna open them. This one is from Miss Rachel from Louisiana. Oh my goodness. Louisiana. Are we excited? Yeah, are we excited? See, hold on, pause for a second. We're gonna pause for a second because this is the special part. Yeah, this is the special part. Oh my goodness, Rachel. If I told you the amount of times that in 10 years I have internally decided to quit YouTube <laughs> and then I get a letter like yours and they're usually, you know, you help me through the loss of a parent or my house burning down or, you know, motherhood is super hard, a lot of divorce ones. And while they're usually accompanied by a really thoughtful gift, the, the words that come in the mail feel serendipitous and like I'm supposed to see them at the time that I'm supposed to see them. Because let's be honest, I don't go to my PO box that often. I don't know when the packages arrive. There have been times where I don't go as much as I need to and I lose packages. So to say, to say the amount of times that you guys have brought me back has been many, especially in these last few years. So I appreciate your kind words and especially the kind gesture to reach out to someone that is a stranger, to relate and to make the world feel like a smaller place. So I really appreciate it. All right, now we have one from Miss Melanie from I think Virginia Beach, Colonial Beach, Colonial Beach. Oh my God, stop. Oh my goodness, stop. Oh no, it's broken. It's okay, it's fine, I can fix it. Okay, these are two claw clips. How cute are those? Oh my goodness, look at this fat so. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Okay, so he got decapitated in the mail, I guess. So this with a little E6000, I have repaired worse, let me tell you. Oh my God, that is so cute, thank you. Oh, oh, who is this good looking? You want to see this good looking? I let Myrna out and now she wants in. Like, do any of you have a dog that's like that? Like the minute you're busy, they want out and then the minute you relax again, they want to get, yeah, yeah. Do you see this? That's pure loving right there. Those ears though, oh my goodness, it's like a Myrn with floppy ears. 
What? You guys, you've got me through so many hard times in my life and I thank you for that. My husband knows you as a mushroom risotto queen. I saw these and had to get them for you. I'm attaching a photo of my red healer, Morty, because he's so cute. He is so cute. Look, he wants to come here. You want to see he's good looking? You want, look at this. Look at this. Look. Do you want a boyfriend? Do you want a boyfriend? Here. Give him a kiss. Oh, he's handsome, huh? He's handsome. He is handsome. Look at Are you handsome? No? Okay, you're not being very nice right now. You know better. You do. Yeah, we've talked about this. We talked about manners. Can you be nice? No? Okay. All right, so you guys, God is, is, God has a very hilarious sense of humor. First, he takes my two boys back, which were my like loving o'clock. They were literally my cuddle bugs. He leaves me these two and they're the sassy ones, the rude ones with no manners. I know. Well, you're so pretty. Yes, you are. You can get away with it, can't you? Melanie, you already know. Thank you. Not for the clips for the kind words. Actually, no, thank you for a picture of my new boyfriend because, God, he's adorable. He's so cute. Really, thank you for the kind words. That's what I meant. And then we have this from Denise. Oh, I love Miss Denise. She's a very long time subscriber and she is one of those that always leaves really nice comments. I'm gonna cut your nose, homie. Really nice comments that feel like hugs like real full on delicious hugs, warm hugs. So I don't even know what's in here, but I'm very excited. Hey, it's not for you. It's not for you. Got a little note. Yeah. Oh man, you have to investigate everything? Apparently you do. I hope you don't mind me sharing your words. Hi Danny, my mom died at 96 in September. She had a wonderful long life and I was there with her the day before and my sister was with her when she passed. I want to tell you again, you saved me so many times. I'd come home from staying with her and watch Danny. If you ever have moments and wonder if you are touching people's lives, you are. Thank you and I'm here for as long as you decide to stay. There have been so many moments in my life that I remember vividly where I really just don't think I'm gonna make it through. You know, I just, I don't think, I can't, I can't survive this. Like, you know, I've been through a lot. This one, I'm, I'm not gonna recover from this one. And there's always these little moments, glimmers, sparkles that just pull me by the bootstraps and remind me that I will because I always do and just like you guys always do and maybe I was your lifesaver you know like like the Titanic except I knew for a fact there was space for Jack on that door there was so I get a feeling when I get mail like this that we're on that door together that the words that you say to me that I make a difference that I've done this I don't even have the words to say how many times you guys have done that for me in how many capacities and so many occasions. And it's a true testament and it's a true reminder that we really make it through, especially the ones that we think this is the worst that it's gonna get. No, <laughs> no, you know, that's the cold hard truth about being an adult is it's not. But the beauty about it is that that's the hardest day to that point and you've made it through everyone before that so we've created something here really special and before I ruin my makeup for the Selena concert let me show you guys this I want to give some privacy but how beautiful was her mom I can't look at that so gorgeous matching adorable Definitely gonna keep this in my Bible, just for you, Miss Denise. Miss Denise, your card and the picture of your mom will forever live in my heart and physically, you know, with my stuff. What do you think about that? 
you get to keep Marty's picture. I get to keep picture of Miss Denise's mom. Are we okay with that? We cool? Yo, I love you. All right, you guys, we have my friend Martha's holiday candle collection, like clockwork. Man, I don't know how this woman works so hard. She has absolute goals. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about my friend Martha from The Good Candle. The candles that we have all over our house, they are hand poured soy wax. She literally does every single one by hand. I mean, she's amazing. So we have, oh, enjoy the holiday collection and happy birthday, my dear friend. What? She remembered it's my birthday. Oh my goodness. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, gotta make sure I take them all out carefully and I don't miss anything. And since there's so many peanuts in here, these are like the biodegradable ones. You should put a little water on them and they all just dissolve. So, oh my gosh. You know what it smells like? We used to go to the Home Depot to buy our Christmas tree every year. And this is exactly what it, what it smells like. When you go to the Home Depot and get your fresh Christmas tree, wow. Oh my God, that smells so good. Wow. I just had a very, a very classy way of, of making that statement sound so elegant. Like her candle reminds me of the Home Depot. What I meant to say is the box smells like fresh cut Christmas trees. <laughs> but you know what? Martha's my friend and she already knows that I have the grace of a drunk toddler on roller skates. So, oh, look at this. Little words project. Oh my God, stop. Oh, oh now, I, now that makes sense. Oh, you know, she texted me a few weeks ago and she was like, hey, um, can you tell me of a word that, you know, is just a really big deal to you? I don't remember how she said it, but it was something like, it's really special or it, it cheers you up or makes you feel strong. Or, I, I don't remember how she articulated it. And I remember telling her definitely hope, faith, forged. I, I don't remember. I gave her, I gave her a couple and look at what she said. How adorable are these? Oh, so pretty hope and faith. And look at the colors. Like these are turquoise and pink. And then these are little, oh my God, these are so pretty. I'm never taking these off. Look at how pretty is that? Is this is mama and then D plus M. All right, let's put these on. Guess y'all are going dancing with me tonight. There we go. Martucci's, you know my heart. Such a lovely, sweet friend. You guys, I have been fortunate enough to be connected to this business for a decade now. And while people in my life have come and gone, there's these relationships that I've formed, like, you know, with Paola or Isabel or Gina. And these are just women that I met because of my job and now are like real life friends that remember your birthday. <laughs> There have been times that people in my family don't even remember, so that's a pretty big deal. So I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but for her car diffusers, like her boho car diffusers, she sells them pl plain, uh, stripped, scentless now, and that gives you the ability to buy them, and then you can add your own fragrance to them. So let me show you guys a couple of these fragrance examples. I'm telling you, the grace, like my, I mean, is there a sticker right here? Sure. Could I open it like that? Like ASMR? No. Sorry. I am who I am. It took me almost 40 years to realize you are your best friend or your biggest bully. So I don't have grace. <laughs> Christmas Eve. So I guess these are the scents, the holiday scents, but for the boho car diffusers. Look at that. Her packaging reminds me so much of typology, that like old school, really classy, elegant, almost masculine, like apothecary look. It's so pretty, so cute. All right, then, ooh, we got a rogue peanut. I can't rip this one open, guys, sorry. This is Christmassy, oh, this is room spray. 
So this is like, just to kind of like refresh in, I don't know, the room, your bedding, or the couch. I'm not sure if it's fabric safe. I have put it on my fabrics and I haven't had any issues, but don't say that I told you to do that because I did it. This is my disclaimer, okay? This is my disclaimer. So the packaging for the holiday candles, so simple, so elegant. You don't even need to put a bow on this. You just need to hand it over to like your mother-in-law or your sister-in-law or to yourself and be like, Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you do. This is Christmas Eve. I bet this is Home Depot. I'm gonna tell her, you know what, Martha? You're my friend, I love you, thoughtful gift, but next year, can you call it Home Depot? She's gonna be like, this is why we're friends. Oh, that smells good. That smells like Christmas time, like a fresh Christmas tree. It's warm. Oh, that smells really nice. Are these, these are new, right? Like the lids? I like that. That's a really nice touch to not have like the naked wax just hanging out. And the smell is more of a surprise when you take the lid off. It's like, you can feel like you're at Joe Malone lifting the little thing, you know, how they, how they hide the little, you know, I was over here in the middle of gushing over my Home Depot smelling candle and my camera overheated. She's like, why must you talk so much? I don't know. That is an answer we will never get. This is spiced cranberry. So all of the holiday candles come in the same really beautiful old school apothecary color jar. I don't even know what color this is. It's like apothecary brown. It's really elegant. It's a beautiful jar. And you can imagine once the, the wick is on, is that right? On fire? I always say turn on and turn off the candle. And I know according to my very Caucasian husband that that is incorrect. So how do you say when the wick is lit? Wow. So when the wick is on, no, when the wick is lit, the glow that this jar is going to give, wow. It's gonna be so elegant. All right, but here for the scents because I'm so good at describing scents. This one smells like home goods. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> smells nice. I would want my bathroom to smell like this. It definitely, it, it definitely smells fresh, but still winter. If there was like a fresh, a fresh fruit scent for winter, this is how I would describe it. I don't know how cranberry smells because the only time that I drink cranberries is like juice and it's usually not good news. And I don't think it smells like this. It smells really good like winter fruity. I know that's awful, I'm sorry you guys. Maybe you could read her description on the website. I'm doing a really great job here, right, right Martha? Really good job? Just lie to me. <laughs> Sugar plum, look how pretty. Yes. I just love every time I hold it up and I get the lighting from up high, like from the fan, how the color of the jar changes. Do you see that? So pretty. Oh, I'm not even gonna try and describe this. I have no idea what this smells like. No idea. I can't, I can't even tell you if it's fresh or masculine or woodsy or, you know, reminds me of another retailer. I don't have my phone around here, otherwise I would look it up in this moment, but. Your girl's busy, okay? Her camera's overheating again. So that is uh, sugar plum. That's interesting. What a unique scent. And then cookies for Santa. I already know what it smells like. But the inner child in me wants to smell it at this very moment. And while I could say it smells like sugar cookie, it smells so good. All right. Oh, that's nice. If you don't like sweet candles, this will upset you. All you get is like the ultimate baked sweetness. Oh, that's really nice. That's my favorite. Here, smell it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, if it's around the holiday season, like there's only a couple options of how your house should smell. It should smell like a fresh cut Christmas tree or some kind of fresh wreath smell, some kind of Home Depot inspired smell. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. I'm like, God, I'm full of crap. Or 
some kind of baked good. It has to be something that you're like, are you baking? And if you're like me, you're gonna be like, uh-huh. It's the, it's the candle that I turned on. Or the only other scent that you can have besides baked goods, Christmas tree. I don't even know, I think those are my options. What would be a good third option? I just opened my big mouth and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with that one because that's all I got. What was it, like baked goods? Man, I'm really stuck on this one because I had a really deep thought in there and all of a sudden it went from three to two. Just like, did you see that? I buffered for a second. Oh, oh, this makes me happy. That does not make me happy. Are you yelling at me? Are you yelling at me? Okay, all right, fine. All right, come here. I know. Okay, so my manager was very, very interested in participating in the scent of Noche Buena so she can participate in the celebration of our type of Christmas. If you guys are unfamiliar, Noche Buena is Christmas Eve and that's actually when Mexican households, I wanna say Latino households, but I'm sure some people might defer or not celebrate. But anyway, in Mexican households, you don't do anything on the 25th. In fact, on the 25th, you're just in pajamas all day, just lazy because everything's closed and you have nothing to do. Our Christmas is on the 24th and it's called Noche Buena. So when I saw the name of this candle, I was like, okay, Martha. Yeah, way to represent, sister. You ready? All right, let's see. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, it has tape. Oh my gosh. How do I, you know, how do I adult every day? Ready? What do you think? Yeah. Right here. Smell it? Oh, see what I mean? The Duckworth Wesley would have been very gracious with their opinions. Oh, that smells so pretty. Maybe this is what smells like Home Depot. <laughs> Hold please. Oh. Hold please, let me do my, let me do my accounting. I don't know. You wanna smell this one? This one smells really pretty. Look, I'm awful, Marta. Like, I, I'm really trying here, but I'm going to add the scent descriptions in, in the description box of this vlog. So if my elegance and grace, she's got style, she's got taste. No, uh, so if my elegance and grace and description and just amazing vocabulary skills are just not doing it for you, there's some proper English down there where we talk about how I light my candles. See, I got it right that time. Okay, I have to run. I'm running super behind schedule, but if you guys love Marta's holiday collection, if you look forward to her collection coming out, if you don't shop her holiday collection, but you get all her other stuff, like Breathe or Strawberry Guava or, oh, what's my other favorite? Anyway, I'll list the scents that I love and have in my house in the description box. And always remember, it is an affiliate code, but as long as we're here, the code Danny will have you guys save some money. And maybe you want your house to smell like Home Depot, or you want it to smell like Mexican Christmas. You don't know. I mean, the, the options are endless, but Marta, I love you so much. Thank you for thinking about me and for thinking about my birthday. No. <laughs> it's crazy. Like the stuff that warms my heart. And uh, the other three sweet pandas that thought about me and kept me in their thoughts. Y'all are making me feel like a million bucks to the Selena show. Hopefully I can get some cool pictures or footage or something. And if there is no record of me being there, it probably means that's how much of a good time I had. I couldn't remember to bring out my phone. You can't come with me though. No, it's not, it's not for little kids especially ones with really bad attitudes. This is what you love about her, isn't it? Me too, me too.